Livingston's team reveals his three-phase plan to invest in the city of Shreveport and its residents. Good evening, I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. It is an exclusive story you'll see only on NBC6. Phase one includes revitalization projects and purchasing plenty of real estate. NBC6's Alicia Gaywood explains in our top story tonight. Curtis 50 Cent Jackson has a vision and plan to transform downtown Shreveport into a vibrant, thriving community. It includes three phases, revitalization, housing, and programs for children. This guy is very passionate about this city. Real estate broker Gerard Durden says Jackson has launched phase one, which includes purchasing and upgrading nearly two dozen downtown properties. I would say 10 or more properties that we should. We've already closed a few of them this week. It'll be additional 10 or so. Durden says Jackson has purchased two properties on Texas Street, the former Drake Building, and another which housed several nightclubs. Other properties include empty lots and buildings next to the Spring Street Historical Museum and Sand Bar Nightclub. We, there's quite a few entertainment spots for not only adults, kids. He's bringing a big jump park here that he's paid. Um, I mean, it's a substantial size park. He's bringing, um, I, we're looking at a grocery store in the immediate downtown Shreveport area. And those are ideas that we come up with together with the whole team and say, what can help the community? Orville Hall, growth advisor for G-Unit Film Studios, says after the revitalization process and getting the city ready, Jackson's team will move into phase two. And we start building houses and we have an idea to go into communities and help low to moderate income families get mortgages. We're going to go to each high school. We hope to put a media program in each high school, right? To start training purposes and mentorship and all kinds of things to put these young people in a positive environment. Home says 50 Cent has made his mark in Shreveport and the city is on board with the plans. Alicia Gatewood, NBC 6 News. And Durden says these have been all cash offers and purchases of these buildings. Yeah, but I'll tell you now, Shreveport, a Shreveport murder suspect.